Even though Dick Harpool in, in his open said, you're gonna hear this voice and that's Alex's voice. We can see it, it's Alex's voice. Yet, they bring up all of these people to make it, make the jurors go through this whole mental gymnastics of determining whether or not it's Alex's voice. And at the end of the day, yes, it was his voice. Um, your thoughts, was there anything the defense could have done to done a better job of heading that off because everyone knew it was his voice. So first of all, I think the prosecution did a good job proving that point. Remember, everything that they allege in that opening statement needs to be supported by evidence. And there's no question that they proved the point. And I was very happy to see them do that. Uh, secondly, you know, I really didn't expect Murdoch to blame this on pills and you know whatever paranoia. I really thought he was going to take the stand and simply say, "Listen, uh, yeah, I lied. I, I, I admit that I lied, but I did it because I thought I would be falsely accused. Yeah, I was at the kennel, but I didn't kill my wife and my son. Uh, I had nothing to do with that." Uh, but I told you otherwise because I was afraid you would blame me for it. And I think that would have resonated a lot better uh, than saying some cockamamie pill theory that nobody believes. But you know, of course, if it's not true, uh, we're now stuck in as he described his, his web uh, that he had woven and sure enough, he got stuck on it. So strange in that he's, you know, he's, yeah. I'm paranoid because of the pills. And for some reason, I once I started lying, it just didn't, it didn't make any sense.